Well, tonight, the drama continues on Capitol Hill. Still no House Speaker. Another vote is expected tomorrow morning. Ultra-conservative Ohio Representative Jim Jordan fell way short of the necessary votes to be elected Speaker. He's hoping things will change tomorrow. He's adamantly opposed to a coalition government with Democrats, but so far, he hasn't been able to wrangle his own party. Tonight, he didn't get the votes. Republicans blocking conservative firebrand Jim Jordan and his bid to become the next Speaker of the House, at least for now. The Speaker has not been elected. Ahead of the vote, the Ohio congressman was hopeful he had the support. Do you have enough votes? We're going to find out here pretty soon. But it soon became clear Jordan didn't have the votes. Yes, Esposito. Lee Zelton. Zelton. His supporters keeping a tally by hand. Democrats united. Noted insurrectionists. I vote for Hakeem Jeffries. Jeffries. Insisting this is Republicans' problem to solve. The final result, worse than Jordan predicted. He could afford to lose four Republicans. He lost 20. Jordan is the founder of the far-right House Freedom Caucus and now is leading the impeachment inquiry into President Biden. He's a staunch ally of former President Trump and once said, I don't know how you can ever convince me that President Trump didn't actually win. Today, when ABC asked if he would acknowledge Trump lost, no response. Do you acknowledge that? Thank you, sir. Congressman Ken Buck of Colorado says because of that, he will never support Jordan. I, I, I am not going to vote for Jim. Tonight, Jordan tasked with convincing more than a dozen other Republicans to back him for speaker. Were you surprised by so many Republicans not supporting you? Not really. We, had, uh, we, we thought we were uh, doing well. Uh, that we were that area was a little, little more maybe, but uh, we were so confident. And tomorrow's vote is expected at around 11 a.m.